so here we are it's our second night we have some awesome units i believe these amotep freezers they are like, like great really great there is only one problem because uh, although the villagers or heroes can be recruited in a village freezers and heroes can also be recruited in a keep and we do not have any keep in our vicinity so we will have to move and fortunately we will find one so first of all i will draw five cards one concentration instinct one movement card we have rage and we have a chivalry next thing what i must do is to choose a tactic we only have four left because we have to discard the other two so let's see let's see hmm. what i think i will do i will take tactics number five i will choose tactic number five because when i acquire this card i can find one card in my deck and place it in my hand and that's exactly what i want to do so let's shuffle these three and choose one and our dummy player will have tactic number six what i want to do is i want to go through my deck and i will take this card mana draw because it lets me use two dice from the mana pool and i want to assault uh, the spawning grounds although we could go and deal with this enemy well that's not really what i would like to do because when you assault the spawning grounds uh, one of the rewards is an artifact and it could really help us against those cities so first of all i will play my mana draw which will let me to use one additional die from the display from the mana pool i'm sorry then i will play my movement card and i will empower it with a blue die so that's movement of four and we can move over here and let's check what's inside so let's flip these two tokens so what we have here is one crypt worm he's fortified and we have a shadow nasty opponent well shadow here is dangerous because he has a magic immunity so you can't use any spells affecting him but you can use uh, spells or abilities that uh, deal with his attack because magic immunity it doesn't protect you when you, you are messing with its attack and we have to block it because if we don't he will have uh, eight hit points not four but eight and that would be really nasty so what am i going to do so what i will do now is i will use my unit again the shock troops really awesome unit i don't use them often but they are really great i will use the last ability lower one enemy attack by three and i will lower the shadow attack by three because as i was saying he has magic immunity you can't mess with him you can't use spells against him which will destroy him or you can't like force him not to attack but you can use abilities that mess with his attack so four minus three is one and it's fire ice attack but only one so in order to block his attack we will use the rage block two it's enough because he has attack of one we have block two so he's blocked as for the crypt worm i will let him attack us he has attack of six so i will first injure or wound my units they have armor of three so let's place one wound onto our units three attack is remaining so we have armor of three so i will place one wound in our hand and next because we have blocked the shadow so he only has like four hit points we can use our instinct and i will power it up with red die for attack of four and he's done and as with the crypt worm i will use chivalry remember i played mana draw so i can use two dice 
so we will use chivalry and I believe the basic attack will be enough we can either choose attack 3 or choose attack 2 and plus 1 to prestige for every opponent which has been defeated by this attack uh, that reminds me I do not have to attack these two opponents separately I can deal with them with one swipe and that's what I will do I still have these two abilities attack 2 and because it's night we can use this ranged attack 2 and we will do one big attack with all these cards all these abilities and we will use them against these two opponents so that's attack 4 plus 2 is 6 and plus 4 is 10 and he has 6 he has 4 hit points 10 hit points 10 attack they both are done for and because we defeated two opponents with this attack we will gain plus 2 to our prestige we also gain 9 fame so i will say two prestige and nine fame that's one two three four five six seven eight nine we have 28 we can advance onto our next level let's clear our playing area shall we so these are our two abilities we have used all these these cards yeah that's black and black that's awesome we will discard this and this and this and this this is on our hand we have one wound next thing to do we will gain our reward and because we have defeated the spawning grounds we can gain three different crystals and an artifact so i will roll one die three times that's gold so any crystal another gold great and white so we will gain one white now we can choose whichever we want to and i believe i would like to have one blue and one green next thing we will gain an artifact so when you should acquire an artifact you draw two cards and you can decide whichever you want to keep and discard the other and we have sapphire ring gain one blue mana one blue crystal and plus one to fame and we have magic sack throw two dice and take a crystal for every color that you have thrown you can take any for gold and one fame for black i think i know what i will take this is good but the ring is uh, in my opinion it's better because uh, when you decide to destroy the artifact you can gain unlimited blue and black mana so when you have spells that's like awesome so i will take the ring next thing to do we will advance on our next level so that's another shield and now now we have hand size of six so let's draw four cards we have a ring we have another wound uh, we have intimidation and we have a whirlwind i almost forgot i will place a shield on this adventure tile because we have defeated both the monsters and it is our dummy player's turn so three cards one two three red one red crystal one card so in my next turn uh, i believe i will rest we have these two wounds I don't have tranquility on my hand no other way to heal those so i will keep this throw away this card and these two wounds and i can draw three more cards one two and three now it's our dummy player's turn so one two three cards another red so one additional card so what we can do next is we could either explore over here but because it's second night and i would really like to see what is inside the city we have only one move and we do not have a green die but we have one green crystal so 
we will play it like this. We will play our movement card, or not this one. And with concentration, we will power it up with the green crystal. And what concentration does is you can use any advanced effect of your card. And if it's movement, block, attack, or you can add plus two. So we have movement six. This costs three. And this will cost another three. So that's it for my turn. I will discard this and these two cards. Draw to six. That's one. And that's two. It's our dummy player's turn. One, two, three cards. It's green and he has three green crystals. So that's three cards. Oh my god, I have to play fast. Well, in my turn, I will play Tranquility. But not for healing. I will draw one card. Oh, great. That's great. And we will use this movement to explore one tile on the map. So we only have two core tiles left. So let's see. This is exactly, exactly what I wanted. We have White City. We have a keep, one Draconum, and another spawning ground. So let's place two brown tokens, one gray token, one red opponent. And as I was saying, I am playing on higher difficulty. So the white city will not be level 8, but it will be level 11. And when it's level 11, we have four white and one green token. So we will place these tokens on this card. That's one, two, three, four white and one gray token. Next thing what I will do is I will play this artifact. So I will gain one blue crystal, one blue mana, and plus one fame. So plus one fame. So that will be the end of my turn. Although I didn't do as much as I wanted to, I believe I still will have at least two turns. So in one turn, we could go into the monastery. We will see uh, what will our cards be, and we will go either we will go to the monastery or we will sack the keep, so we can have a plus one to our hand size. So I will clean this up. I will draw one, two, two six, and we didn't use this blue mana, but who cares? Now it's our dummy player's turn. So one, two, three cards. That's red. So one, yes. He only has one card left, but that means we will have three turns before it's the end of the round. What I want to do next is I want to sack that keep. Unfortunately, because it's night, we can't really see who will be inside the keep. And I will have to choose, because I only have one card, I have Swiftness, which will give me two movement points, but I need four to move to the place where the keep is. And I have two blocks, one Ice Block and one Regular against Swift opponents, and I have to choose which card I will discard. Because it's a keep, and I do not really like think there will be some magic resistant opponents. So, I will play. Swiftness for movement 2. I will play Rage sideways. And I will play this block sideways. That's total of movement of 4. And I can advance onto the keep. And because we are attacking fortified side, we need to lower our prestige by 1. And now let's see who is inside the keep. Oh, look. Red heroes, and as I was saying, he has the fire attack too. Oh my god! So, well, it doesn't it doesn't really matter because we have this whirlwind or we have this block, and uh, we need to destroy him. And I do not want to take any more damage, I believe. And I certainly, I certainly do not want to play play this card sideways. So we will play this white spell, the Whirlwind, and we can use one mana die from the mana pool, and uh, one enemy won't attack. 
that's exactly what I want because he has two attacks I do not have two blocks so he will not be attacking and then and although I do not have any attack cards on my hand I still have these two and because it's night we can have ranged attack two and attack two or ice attack two it doesn't really matter attack four and he's done for we will gain five fame but we must lower our prestige by one so we will lower our prestige by another one and we will gain one two three four five one more point and we could advance onto our next level i will place a shield on the fortress side because we managed to defeat the red heroes so let's clean up our playing area these two will go over here and i will reroll this die so that's done for these two cards stays in our hand we will discard all these cards and because we already have two keeps and our hand size is six so we can draw up to eight cards so let's see so three four five six seven we do not have any more cards and one more thing i forgot because we are near the white city we can see who is inside it doesn't really matter that it's night time because uh, well the defenders of cities they never really sleep so you can see the units even uh, during the night so let's see oh oh no some really really nasty units so what we have here we have some gunners some tags we have altar mages and we have two grim legionnaires one of the toughest unit in the game oh no this will be a tough fight <sighs> really tough fight but whatever and now our dummy player will play only one card and that's it well in our turn what should i do i most certainly will play this card the lightning explosion uh well i will gain one wound but i can get one red and one white crystal so let's place them in our inventory we already have three white crystals that's nice and the next thing i will do is well we are next to the monastery so we could play our movement or either this or the swiftness and then heal up use our promise card but i think the better option would be to hire those freezers and that's what i'm going to do because we have a prestige of zero so no bonus but we can use we have three white crystals so let's see we will use one white crystal to power this up so it's influence four and then we will play one two three four cards sideways so that's influence four plus four is eight and they cost eight and we will take them great that's really great so i think i can clean this up already because i do not have anything to do so let's clean this up we have two wounds on our hand we have those freezers we still can hire one more unit so that's it we do not have any more cards and our opponent our dummy player will call the end of the round next turn so i think we can end this round right now so we will take this card the white card and add this to our dummy player's deck we will take this spell it's a blue one so we will place one blue crystal to our dummy player's mana pool so let's clean these cards we will move these down and place one more spell and one more advanced action 
let's place three more advanced actions because we have three monasteries. Oh, this is good. Adrenaline, freezing look, a freezing stare, and heroes songs. And I will also clean these units. And let's see. Oh, Altum Guardians. Some swordsmen. And we have ice golems. So that's it for this round. We will have day three ahead of us. We only have two rounds left. And we still need to conquer these two cities. Fortunately, we have a monastery there where we could heal or influence and we managed to defeat the keep guardians so we will have plus two cards on our hand during our next turn it will be tough when you are playing on higher difficulty well the cities have more units and the fights are really tough but maybe maybe if i'm lucky with some maybe some new spells or i don't know maybe we will be able to win we still have two rounds so I will see you in day three.